Today marks the start of a brand new adventure. Not only would I be building myself a survival hideout, but I would be trying to live off the land while doing so. This challenge would put my 7,000 hours of playtime in DayZ to the test. The rules are simple. No packaged food, no mushrooms or fruit, no water from wells. If I didn't catch, hunt or grow it, I'm not allowed it. Okay. What's going on dudes? Welcome to another video. Uh, today we are starting a challenge called Extreme Daisy Survival. So, I'm not allowed any food that is from like out of any packaging. If I didn't catch, kill or grow it, I'm not allowed it. Uh, to also make this a little bit more difficult for myself, I have to craft a fishing rod, not use like um, like a proper one. Um, I'm not allowed to eat mushrooms. I'm not allowed to eat fruit that spawns around the fruit trees. Just because it, that would just be way too easy. Um, and I've also set myself a couple of objectives. So my objectives are... I, I'm going to try and build a little base somewhere. And we are going to try and catch and hunt one of each animal. I have no idea where I'm going to build or what I'm going to build. We'll figure that out. I'm just going to loot around town first. See what see what bits and bobs I can find. Um, and then we can make a little pit stop in a building somewhere and pull up the map and figure out where we're going to go. To be honest, with how I'm running around right now, I'm actually being really careless with the fact that uh, I have to be careful with my with my food and water. I'm not allowed to drink from wells. I have to like find chlorine tablets or a cooking pot so that we can boil the water. And I'm just sprinting around really carelessly. So I need to just like wind my neck in a little bit, I think. So those are the rules for the challenge and my objectives for this adventure. I started looting around town for supplies. <gasps> oh, chicken, dude. Checking off my first animal from the list and bagging myself a cooking pot. This was looking to be a promising start. Oh, a cooking pot! Dude! Yes! After looting what I could from the PD, I made my way over towards the statue to make a fire on the rocks tucked out of the way to cook up some chicken. You know what they say though, all good things must come to an end. Oh, I just boiled my zucchini seeds, dude. God damn. Oh, oh sweet nectar. Okay, everything, everything is going up. We're going up. This is good. This is good. We're turning it around. And in typical Beans fashion, I went to investigate the gunshots. Zombies there, chillin'. I just potatoed so hard. What is happening? What is going on? What are you doing, game? Was it a trio? No, it was a trio, wasn't it? No. What was the game doing, dude, on those rocks? <gasps> I potatoed so hard. I should have just pulled out the SSG. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, I still don't know why I didn't, but we were bad to square one. I ditched my spawn food and started my journey all over again. Oh, goodbye, food. 
a cow though straight away nice you hear that cow and a train Just run through the building, dude. I'm sorry. I also just realized there's another there's another animal off our list. With two animals checked off the list, I headed to Barazino to start looting for supplies again and found a few items I would need to start building a base. I actually didn't even think about the fact that I can use a saline bag for water and I'm gonna allow myself to uh, just for the simple reason being is if I get low blood or anything like that at any point and have to like heal myself I'm gonna have to use one anyway so that was a gunshot someone's here They are. That's two. I might just push him and just say fuck it. He was in there. He's in the building next door.
this way. Pretty sure he's still in the guard truck. I never saw that guy again. I can only assume he ran off to go meet back up with his friend. So my journey continued, taking me further inland. I had marked a potential location that if it was free, I would build my base in. I was hoping this house is free. That's even if it's the one I think it is. Yeah, it is. Is it free? Please be free. Please. Looks clear. Oh, it's free. Nice. It's free for the taking. Okay. Um. Okay. I'm gonna need to stash my bag somewhere and then I need to carry on pushing north. I should have kept that dry bag so I could bury it, but meh, whatever, what can you do? With the cabin free for the taking, I would need to be quick in finding the last of the building supplies needed so I could secure it for myself. So I made my way into Krasnostav. There we go, go look in the dirty water again. I'm gonna have to be careful though because I am sick now. And the last thing we want is to start throwing up. That is just gonna set us way back. Oh shit, there's a guy. Let's get closer. Oh, there's two. Is there two? Or is there one? I wonder if they're getting a fire going inside. I think it's two. Unless the guy ran back outside again. Oh wait, hang on. The door's open, he's out. Back to the beach we go. Thankfully, we weren't starting from scratch. I ran back to my body, picked up any scraps, and made a pit stop at a pond on my way out of town and caught a couple of carp, ticking my third animal off the list, before continuing my search for building supplies. I didn't really have much luck in Novo, so I started making my way back down towards the cabin, and to top it off, I was now sick from drinking dirty water. Oh no! <laughs> So I figured I should probably make a pit stop at the Northeast Airfield on my way past so I could find some meds to rid me of my sickness and keep me fighting to see another day. I really hope there's meds there. Uh... Oh, there's a guy. Dude, every time I go somewhere, there's a fucking guy. Push 
down closer, I guess. I'm pretty sure this guy's still down there. I don't think I saw him leave. Yeah, there we go. He's wearing a blue helmet, that's what it is. Oh dude, he's coming straight towards me, yeah, shit. Oh, nice, dude. Look at all the scorpion stuff he's got. Oh, this. Uh, let's take out. Can't take the food. Take this, though. Chlorine tablets. Oh, a saline bag, dude. Oh, dude. This. This. Game changer. Nice, let's see if we can find another one. And we shouldn't throw up either from taking that. Oh yes, 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 yes. We got another one and there's some Tetra. We can top up our charcoal. Fill up our bandage. We've temporarily avoided death by dehydration. I'm going to run back to the stash. Um, and then I think I'm going to take a little break. And that's what I did. I didn't log back on until the next day. Pretty successful first day, I would say. And uh, all without eating and drinking anything that we haven't sourced ourselves. So, yeah. When I log in in the morning... Uh, my main focus is going to be pliers and code lock, and we need a hatchet as well, or a hammer. The following morning, I stashed my building supplies and headed north to Severograd to start my search for the final building tools I needed to secure the cabin. Dude, if we can find a hunting scope, or just any scope, here's a magazine in this CR rifle. I couldn't let this death set the tone for the day, so I respawned, found myself in Cherno, and made a run for Pavlovo military base. Maybe being so much of the coast was a blessing in disguise, because we might have better luck finding building tools. What is that up there? Is that a box of nails? I think that might be a box of nails. A box of nails and another animal checked off the list. Things were already locking up, and they would only get better from here. We can take sheep off the list. Oh, a 
raid saw. Dude, what? What? I found my first bit of storage and a couple of raid tools that would set me up for success. But you'll have to wait and see. A detonator. Dude, what? Oh, dude, come on. I'd made it into Zelenogorsk. I was a long way from where I wanted to build my home and carrying a lot of valuable items. I was in desperate need for a code lock so I could finally have somewhere safe and secure to store my loot. But as most of you will know, there is always someone in Zeleno and this time was no different. Finally. Oh my god, do the code lock. Yes. Yes. Okay. Let's go. No stopping now. I might grab a shovel or a pickaxe if I find one. I'm I'm like 99% sure that my bags will have despawned by now. They've been on the floor for so long with no like interaction. I ran back across the map to the cabin only to discover that I'd been away from my stash for that long, about seven or eight hours to be exact, that all my stuff had despawned. I figured this would happen, so I'd been picking up extra tools while I was out looting so I could finally secure my cabin as my own. The moment of truth. Is the house still free? And are my bags still there? Looks like it's still free. My bags, if they're still here... Should be. Nah, they've despawned. Oh god. Oh, that hurts. That is painful. That is. Nice, okay. The cabin was secure, and finally I had somewhere to store my loot, and it seemed that I was in a prime spot for an endless supply of wolf meat, so that would solve my hunger problem while doing the survival challenge. And we can also check wolf off the list. Riffy. Oh, and it's going to land right on the boat too, isn't it? Right, let's go and see what the deal is with this riffy airdrop.
code lock. Oh nice, I need that. It's already been looted. Fuck. Okay, well, never mind. If we can make it home, we got another code lock. I made it home with the extra code lock and nothing much really happened for the rest of the day. I found a bunch of extra building supplies so I could build a second gate and then I got off for the night, bringing day two to an end. We survived the night. It was a quiet day to begin with. I made a couple of mindless runs to a few towns in the northeast airfield to top up my med supply and to look for a potential NBC suit. So once I got back from those runs, I headed straight back out to Kamensk military to hopefully get myself some extra guns and camo nets to hang on my walls and maybe some storage if I was lucky. Oh, I hear a bear. Oh, this could be the perfect opportunity actually to get the bear ticked off the list. I was hoping we we're gonna see some storage here, but there's nothing so far. And a bunch of ammo, which is nice though. I picked up the bacon to start a habit. I didn't eat any though. I didn't eat any. I just realised what I was doing. I mean, not bad. Not what we came for, but not bad. We got some spare helmets, some spare armour, a bunch of ammo, a spare gun. Let's go and look for Yogi. Okay. We just gotta keep an ear out for him. He's over there somewhere, I think. We might just have to sit and listen for a minute. I love how now that I've actually gone to look for him, I just can't hear him anymore or, or nothing. There he is. Where are you? I heard you. Bingo. Nice, Yogi on the list! Another animal checked off the list, and honestly, I thought this one was going to be the most difficult for me to do. My base was nowhere near a bear spawn, so getting the bear checked off was a big juicy W. Next, I made my way further into the map, heading to the northwest airfield, in hopes that I would have better luck finding the storage that I needed. Last time I came to the airfield on this server, they changed it a little bit. They added their own stuff in. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah, already it's instantly different. Nice, okay. You can take those. Someone's drinking out of a bottle. Dude, what? Oh, 
Have I got a lockpick on me? No. Dude, what were you doing? I don't know if someone else is outside or not. Zombies. Someone's jumping. I'm flashing. Mets have worn off. Oh my god, dude. He thought his dead friend was me. <laughs> right, let's pop this. Pop this. There is someone else as well because someone was sniping. Shoot. All right, let's go. Oh shit, dude. Oh no. This is bad. This is really bad. Um. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I don't have any food on me either. Oh, oh no. We have been alive like all week. We, we haven't died in days. This is not how we go out. Please game. Give me an animal. Sometimes there's goats that can spawn over here, or boar. Oh no, dude. Let's be honest, it was only a matter of time before I eventually starved to death. 
If no animals spawn, I'm just going to have to drop all my gear and stash it. And we'll run back for it. There's no way I'm losing all of this. Here we go. This is it. I'm just going to drop all of my stuff right here. Oh, dude, that sucks to die like that. But we got all the gear stashed, so I guess now we run back. I respawned and just ran straight for base to fill up on food and water before heading inland again for my gear. Oh no. No, 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 no! No! I'm so close to my house, please! <laughs> no! I'm like right in my house, please! Why? Oh! Please, game. I can see my house. I'm looking right at it. Don't kill me. <laughs> Let me in. <laughs> Let me in. I just came home for food. Am I like tagged and cursed or something? Is this what it, this is? Holy moly. <laughs> oh, baby, we're almost there. No. Why are my shots not doing anything? What was that? My first set of bullets just wasn't even doing anything, dude. I can honestly say that I've never fought so many wolves in all of my hours playing DayZ. Anyway, I finally made it home with all my newly acquired loot from the fight at Northwest Airfield. Home, sweet home. A bunch of extra guns, which is bloody lovely. Um, what is this? Give me that. Oh, dude, holy moly, look at this thing. God, look how much space we got in this pallet. <gasps> Dude, that's disgusting. Day four. Well, I won't show you all the boring loot rooms I did in the morning. It was just the same old stuff as every other morning. But I did eventually meet up with my friend Ramblin. We headed out to roam the map and it was surprisingly quiet. So after making it back to base and trying to decide what to do, the Daisy gods provided us with an answer. You gotta be careful. I went to an airdrop the other day at Riffy and killed a guy and someone had already fucking looted the airdrop so like they're in and out. God, I get so nervous to play it like that. I, you know, I've thought about that a thousand times. Just, you know, go. You know what I mean? Just yeah. go, go, go. I think you just kind of gotta read the situation and decide on whether or not the risk is worth it. Shots on me, it's a blaze. Oh, I thought you were still up the hill, fuck. <laughs> Just gonna try and get up here in the trees and flank behind them.
There he is. I might actually be able to see him there. Oh yeah, I see a guy. He's dead. One's dead. In this bush in the middle of the field. It's not the blaze guy though, that was a CR guy. Is it oh, I see a guy running down the tree line. Yeah, he's straight up towards me like a... I've got him. He's on come. Dad. Blaze guy. There's two down. What guns did he have on him? Just a blaze. Yeah, blaze and the scorpion. This guy's got a CR rifle. That's pretty much it. Did he have any building stuff on him? Is that you shooting? Oh my god, rambling, you're giving me anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm hit. I'm hit once. Hit once. Oh yeah, I see him. I just saw him for a split second. He's pulled out a sledgehammer, I think he's out of ammo. Here's another shot, I'm hit. Yeah, it's behind. I don't see. I don't know if I just killed that guy in the bush in front of you. You killed him. Oh, nice, nice. There he goes, another guy. Yeah. yeah, he's down. He's dead. You alright? Oh, he's in three right by my body. He's dead. Thank you. Oh, I'm hit. Shit. I'm coming. He's down, he's down. He's dead. Oh. Yeah. No. Oh. oh, I'm dead, dude. Oh, no. Don't respawn. Hang on, keep your marker there. Don't respawn. I'm right behind him. Oh, I see him. Killed the guy that got you. Nice, right, so I'm three and a half out. This has been juicy. Oh shit, I am in the fuck I'm in the shit here. I don't have space. Killed another guy? You need to get back, Ramblin'. That's the LER. Oh, no shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my bag is full of AKs. Um, I also have a stash of AKs. Oh, fuck. <laughs> We've got the foul. 
Yeah, I'm red water, shut. Okay, holy moly. Oh yeah, oh dear. There's two, at least. Yep. Yep. While we won the airdrop and everyone else's loot, it all happened right on my doorstep and I now had a target on my back. But the question was, would my survival hideout survive the night? 